how to leg extension in two minutes or less. This is Blake with Kaizen Training and Nutrition.com, breaking down a common isolation exercise for your quads. I want to give a disclaimer, this isn't for everybody, and this can wreak havoc on your patella over the long run. So I want to talk about some ways that we can optimize this movement. And if you're, if you're experiencing pain with this, this would be something you want to consult a medical professional or your coach on. With something like this, generally you'll have some sort of pad. I want you to get your femur just beyond the pad so your knees are kind of hanging loose. They're not pressed back here. With this pad in front of us, I want you to adjust it so that you're not coming past 90 degrees. So I don't want you to bring your legs way back behind, putting a ton of extra strain on your patella, but at least 90 degrees here. And then you should have a, a pad supporting your back. With this, as you push away, you're engaging your quadricep. I want you to do this in a very controlled fashion, meaning I don't want to get a bunch of body English or your ego involved here, as that will wreak havoc on your knees over time. If there's a belt or something, that can be good to prevent thrusting of your hip. So you've got your pad against your back, your hips in contact with the pad. Here, I'm gonna think about pushing the backs of my legs down into the pad as I lift my feet and squeeze my thighs. You're here. As you come back down, I don't want you to go quite all the way down and then reverse the motion. Likewise, at the end, I don't want you to lock out and put a lot of strain on your knees. So leave about five to 10 degrees from each end of the motion. You're still gonna be stimulating your quadriceps, but we're not putting as much havoc on our patella with this. I often will recommend for my athletes, we work at some sort of a controlled tempo, meaning I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna fight it back down for two or three seconds so that we can get a lot of the muscular benefit without damaging our joint in the long run. This is not a necessary exercise. This is something that I will program for some athletes and I will do on occasion myself, but that is all in the context of you, your body, and things you're able to do. If you're interested in more training, nutrition, or coaching advice, check out the link below for Kaizen Training and Nutrition.com.